What is going on guys? It is Trifecta J here with episode 1 of my franchise on MLB The Show 15. I did one of these last year, but I didn't get too far with it. But this year I'm going to be using my favorite team, the Atlanta Braves, a team that had a whirlwind of an offseason as now coming into this year only 7 players from last year's opening day roster or even with the Braves organization anymore. They traded away players like Justin Upton, Craig Kimbrell, Evan Gaddis, and Jason Hayward. In those trades, they really replenished their farm system. This is now an organization that has a lot of nice young talent rising through their ranks, but also a team that has suffered a couple of injuries. Mike Miner will miss probably the first one or two months of the season. Joey T will be out two or three weeks and will probably go to Gwinnett after that. Shea Simmons, one of our top relievers, has had Tommy John surgery and will miss the year. Andrew McHearhan and Aroidis Vizcaino both have been suspended for 80 games due to performance enhancing drugs. A couple of minor leaguers also had Tommy John surgery, but now looking at our pitching rotation, Julio Tehran, Alex Wood, and Shelby Miller, one of the players they acquired this offseason, are a very solid 1-2-3 punch, but the 4-5 and five features a big drop off with Eric Stoltz and Trevor Cahill who both are not that great of pitchers. Into the bullpen, we do not have a lot of great relievers. Luis Avilan had a very down year last year, and Jason Grilly has come over from the Pittsburgh Pirates, and hopefully he can make a difference as our closer. Now looking at our lineups for this season, this is a very versatile team. A lot of players who can play a lot of different positions, and a, just a lot of platoons this team will be utilizing. At catcher will be AJ Przinsky and Christian Betancourt. At second base, it will be Jace Peterson and Alberto Cayaspo. At third base, we'll see a bunch of different players who will play that position. And then at left and center field, we'll feature Johnny Gomes, Eric Young Jr., Cameron Maben, and a couple of other players. Kelly Johnson can slide out there. Phil Gosling can play a little bit of center field. But overall, this is now a farm system that has a lot of nice talent. Matt Wisler is probably the number one prospect in this system, him or Jose Peraza. Peraza has a lot of leadoff potential with very nice speed and nice contact. Not a lot of power though, so that'll be something we'll have to see if he can improve. Mike Fultonevich was acquired in the Evan Gaddis trade and could definitely be a nice power arm as he could even reach as a top tier starter for this team. Max Freed acquired in the Justin Upton trade. Another pitcher, this one a left-handed, one who has a, some nice potential and can definitely develop into something worthwhile. Lucas Sims, the Braves first round pick from a couple of years ago, only 19 years old. Not the hardest thrower, but at 6'2", he could definitely develop into something nice. Braxton Davis, their first round pick from last year, could be a very solid hitter in left field. He was originally a first base, but moved outside into the outfield because of Freddie Freeman. Malik Smith, another guy who has some nice leadoff potential, he was acquired in the Justin Upton trade. He will start his year in Mississippi in Ozzy Albius, not sure how to pronounce his name. If you know, please let me know down in the comments. An 18 year old, some nice speed. Hitting is not quite up to his fielding and his speed quite yet, but he could definitely be a nice piece moving forward. Jason Hirsch, another pitcher. He has some nice velocity to his fastball. He is a little bit older at 22, but has some nice height. Overall, this team has just lost a lot of pieces, but regained a lot, but those players will not be ready for a while. This season could be very tough for Braves fans as the offense just does not have a lot of firepower outside of Freddie Freeman and Nick Markakis, a pitching staff that features three really good young pitchers and if Mike Miner can come back and be healthy that would give us four along with a couple of prospects in AAA who have a chance to be called up if the four and five starters aren't able to perform. But I hope you did enjoy. If you're excited for the series, leave a like down below. Leave your comments on the series. Any trade you think I should make, any players I should get rid of, players I should go after, leave those down in the comment sections. But I will see you on opening day, cause I'm out.